turn it off. Yeah, but everyone's awake. And why are you going out in the dark, Dad? Well, it's not dark outside, is it? <laughs> uh, meat. I've got to take the meat out of the freezer. Oh, and it's perfect pie day. Better go and defrost or else Charity will be having you for dinner instead. <laughs> um, why are you sleeping here? I got in late last night and I didn't want to wake your dad. Did you get my text? Text? Got Yeah, you got mine, son. I got yours. Yep, got it. Good. Dad was late too. I had to stay at Grandad's for ages. Really? Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's pesky stock take of the meat. Which urgently needs defrosting. It really does. Okay, fine. Bye bye. What about Carla? Yeah, what about me? Are you okay? Dropping off at your dad's? Yeah, of course. You can count on me. Okay, bye now. Bye. bye. I'm catching the bus. Yeah, but I offer a door to door service. No, really? Because you've only offered it a gazillion times. I need to see social services by myself. They already think I flaked yesterday. Well, my fault. No, no fault. But if I turn up with you, it will look like I need someone to hold my hand. I'm fighting to find out about my daughter. They need to see I can do it on my own. OK. But you are not on your own. Not now. Hey, good luck. Look, I'm wearing my big knickers now. What are these? Swans. Swans? No, snails or turtles or, or mutant giraffes, maybe, but they do not look like swans. And not swans that are due at a wedding fair in just a few hours. Oh, here. Start on this lap. Oh, but Nico, I need to sleep. Yeah, when you're dead, Jimmy, which will be sooner than planned if we don't get these favours done. I'm all favoured out. We've been at it all night. Well, think about that. Next time you smash a hundred of these long-necked, evil, beak mangled monstrosities to smithereens. Are they all as bad as that one? That's one of the good ones. Oh, God. We'll have to start all over, all over again. Oh. What's going on? You were supposed to open up an hour ago. <laughs> What's your husband doing hiding down there? Not hiding. Not... Oh, <sighs> tell him, Nico. Oh, I know this is good. Cos you've just lost a whole shade of cocky. Go on, then, Mother Superior. What's the crack? Well, it's a disaster, is what it is. And you... You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Sars, no can do. They're your grandkids! Debs, is that true? Mum, it's for the afternoon. Just stick them in the back room and put the telly on. I have to keep this appointment, all right? It's really important. More important than helping your lass. I'm having root canal, OK? Something to look forward to after our little chat here. Debs, I want to help, believe me. Oi! Lurking Larry. Stop creeping about over there and finish up over here. I was going to knock. Yeah, no, I can hear Charity shouting. Do you want to come in? No, no, definitely no. Bad idea. Yesterday was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't hate me. Please don't, even though I took advantage. You didn't. I did. I'm Carly. She won't hear anything from me. But I know you. And secrets kill you. So whatever yesterday was, you need to tell her. Yeah, because you've got some serious skills. But you can't beat me to Grandad Bob's, though. Hooray! <laughs> I'm not coming with you. Carly, after what we... No. Okay, it was a mistake. Nothing's changed. Uh, everything's changed. Yesterday, you and me, we, we proved we're right. No. Marlon is right for me. Okay, it has to be Marlon. Carly, don't do this, please. 
I can't lose you again. You can't lose someone that you haven't got. Okay, all we had was bad times. And I'm done. Okay, I'm just done. <laughs> I won. Yeah, you always will. Hi, Matt. Are you coming to the cafe too? No, he's uh, just come to say goodbye. Why? Where are you going? Away. Where? Just away. Come on, Grandad Bob's waiting. Carly. Please. You didn't say goodbye. Bye, Matt. Are you sure? Debs, you and the kids need me. I'm here. How many times has your mum watched over Sarah and Jack this holiday? Zilch, because charity will always put charity first. Well, she hasn't done anything wrong, really. It's just bad timing. Ah, oh, hello, madam. Long time no see. Uh, where's Grandad? Oh, hello to you, too. Hey, you might have some biscuits. Yeah, he's out the back looking for coffee cup. Well, nice chatting to you. I do have that way with little ones. But I must have forgotten that I put my uh, invisible cape on today. Sorry. No, it's all right. You look like you've got more important things on your mind. What's up? I messed up. Badly. Well, what is it? Me. Being an idiot and risking everything that I have here. Marlon, April, Dad. Well, what have you done? <sighs> He's not going to want me at all now. Do, do you want him? Yes, obviously. Oh, is, is it Marlon that we're talking about? Yes, there's no one else other than Marlon. Right, OK, well, he adores you. So there's, there's, there's nothing bad that he won't forgive. So whatever you've done, undo it. Start your engine on that, love. And we'll still be here when you need another pitch stop. <laughs> you think your mum wanted to sell this little beauty? She's more than her in the key. Turbo burgers, that's us, love, yeah. Send your mates out for a speedy feed. Dad, what are you talking like that for? Eh? Well, it's marketing, isn't it? I mean, we haven't got a burger van yet, but we've got a burger Porsche. No, we have a tiny car parked next to a smelly grill. We had to do three trips to get the gear here. It is not practical. Hey, people see a posh car, they think posh food. Eh? That's why we can charge these posh prices. It don't matter that we're feeding them the uh, cheapest grub on the market. You see, expensive, so it tastes expensive. Huh? Well, flipping burgers, I see. I mean, at least I suppose it's a step up from the factory floor. Well, it is actually because my car in the business, Turbo Burgers. Oh, good for you. Can I do your deal on four of these turbocharged beauties? You're not going to give them to me for free, seeing as you're using my son's car, even though I asked you to give it back? Yeah, and I've told you it's theirs now. I don't want it. Come on, then. Let's go in. They look disgusting. What do you call this? Hmm? And this, mangled is what? Inedible is what? You showed me a box yesterday and said they were all fine. Yeah, and that box is fine still. But when I check the rest, mangled. Are you sure they were in boxes? Because none of them are wrapped. I know, shoddy work people. Whoever was on the moulding machine needs serious retraining. And never mind the simpletons who decorated these sorry little turkeys. So that's only one good box? Uh-huh. And a hundred swans that need redoing? Mm -hmm. They are being picked up today. Then everyone had better get cracking, hadn't they? Even I have limits as to how much magic I can work. So I called Jimmy and Benice to, to help out. Look, you'll have to pitch in out back as well, if we stand even the smallest chance of fixing this unforgivable staff error. Didn't you hear me? I need you here. I can't work with all of them. No, none of this is their fault. No, it's not, is it? It's your fault. So pull up a seat and get swanny. It's all right. It's all right. I'm here, I'm here. The kids are all in the holiday club, so I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and help save the day. <laughs> Finally, someone I can rely on to dig us out of this mess. Benice, this is your station. Hi. Hi. Pie gate averted. The meat that needed defrosting. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. No, pie catastrophe here. <laughs> Listen, it's the dinner rush, so. So you need to rush. Yeah. Only charity said no one wants your pies. 
only because of the, uh, the Zack Burger invasion, so, uh, it should be quiet and, uh, I really need to say this. Right, well, can't wait, cos I've got a prep for tonight, too. Marlon, you know how much you mean to me and how much I love you, right? No, we don't. Because I do, I really do. Will you just put that down for a second? Marlon, I cheated, I cheated. on you. Who with? Laurel. <laughs> Again? No. No, you don't get to loot that hurt. Not after you've been cheating with Matt for how long? It was just once. And the rest? I know you've been lying to me about seeing him. It was him you were with yesterday. All right, then fine. I was with him yesterday, but I had good reason. To cheat? I'm all ears. I wasn't cheating. You just said you were. No, stop confusing then me. stop lying to me. I was with him yesterday because we were down at the markets. Why? Because I needed money. We work well together. We always sell double what we do on our own. I needed money, so I used him, and I couldn't tell you. Why not? Because the money was for a ring, Marlon. So I could propose to you the same way you were going to with me before he turned up and ruined everything. Only you didn't back out just because of Matt, did you? You backed out because of Laurel. Whip crack away, people! Whip crack away! Three hours late. I'm on a half day. Back off, Nicola. I okayed it. It's no wonder this place is a shambles. That's a beautiful swan, Bernice. Oh, I guess my creative talents translate. Hmm. Could they translate a little faster? You've done one. One. A good one. The best. Do better, faster. Don't speak to me like that. Am I paying you a hundred quid? I can't afford to get these out. We don't make the deadline. You don't get paid. Right. Sit down and decorate. Did I tell you? Not till I say so. They kept asking how long I've been clean. Trying to trip you up? No, more like they were impressed and they were just trying to confirm it. They were asking about my job here and about you and how stable we are. You told them about me? Is it OK? Yeah, of course it is. Good, cos they liked it. They said by putting down roots it showed I was serious about Rosie. Well, that's great. If I can keep all this together for a time, I might have a natural chance of contact with her, Jay. Just keep going on like I am. As we are. No. No, you are the worst person for me to be around. I right, slow down. Just... No, because if I do, it's going to crash, and it's crashing because of you. The ridiculous dance in the car when you're singing to the radio. What? Hustling together at the markets. First time I heard you, first time I saw you, first time I kissed you. And every moment after that just got better. What are you doing to me? It was all amazing, Cardi. You said we only had bad times, but we didn't. We're passionate and we fought and we'll always fight, but we'll always make up and come back together because the, the fighting, it's, it's part of the fun. One of us freaks out, the other fixes it. Usually me. The one time I freaked yeah, out. Yeah, the one time it was a big time, Matt. Walking out on your pregnant girlfriend is a big one. Yeah. But I came back like you knew I would. You iced me out like I knew you would, and we both knew you would, Tob. But then Billy died. No, we to... I'm not going through this again. OK, OK, OK. But you were wrong when you said it was only bad. Because the really bad times. That was when we were apart. It was perfect when we were together. Yeah, well, we can't be. And we're not. OK, just... Why did I have to find you again? Why did I have to let you stay here? I have a life, finally. I love you. I can't. I can't keep begging you to get out of my life. If you do love me, then you need to go today. You're not giving up on us. There is no us. They should just go. Are you deaf? I said just go!
And now my chef's going to you all again. Ah, running away from the competition, is <gasps> Uncle it? Uncle Zach, I'm due in town right now and I've no-one to cover me. Well done, you. Look, I'm just giving people what they want. Well, not for long. When I get the health inspectors on, that stupid health hazard. Yeah, well, you could not do that. Uh, and I could be your bar staff. That your taxi? Yeah. I was like he's in a rush. OK, fine. You cover me for today, yeah? But then you get a new patch or I'm taking you down. Ow! Mum! Debs, I'm really sorry. I've got to go, yeah? Uh, you're wearing that to the dentist? Uh, yep. Yeah. Root canal, eh? Oh, don't say it like that. Like there's something dirty going on. Is there not? No. Why, is this dress too much, is it? Too... not professional enough? Oh, it's professional, all right. Your old profession, I believe. That is not something you throw on for the dentist. Well, then I'll just have to throw on my jacket over the top. I've got to go, all right? Debs, please, just hold judgment till I'm back. Oh, whatever. What happened to us, Marlon? You no, know, I can't believe I've been feeling guilty over some stupid single kiss. When all along you think I've been having off with Mark behind your back. Stop it! A kiss? It was just a kiss. Which now doesn't seem so bad knowing what you really think of me. Like I'd go from your bed to his like it's nothing. Is that why you went with Laurel? To get back at me? No. God, no. She... She was worried about me. Because I thought I was losing you. But you weren't. I just needed... I don't know. I just needed to connect with someone again, maybe. I, I, you know, there was no master plan to you. It just, it just happened. Yeah, you just tripped up and slipped and landed in a bed. Easiest thing in the world, that. No. No, I went in to kiss her and she shoved me away. Idiot that I am. And? That's it. You, you didn't even kiss? Why did you tell me you cheated? Because I would have. It was her who put a stop to it, not me. Well, then... Well, then we cancel each other out. We're even. It doesn't work like yeah, that. Yeah, it does. It does, because we both... We both obviously care enough for what we have to not let some stupid nothing kiss with an ex come between us, you know? We're even. Yeah? Just an hour, three no, tops. I just came in from our roster. But you're here now. And now I'm not. <laughs> it's so good of you to help out, Jibby. You know, decorating that bird like a pro, even without a single bit of training. Almost like you've done it before. It's a bit odd, isn't it? That you were already here when we showed up. You know, before we had to start over. I had to drop Nico off. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? Because when Zach drops me off, he stays in the van. Hmm? Same as Dad. Hmm. He defo doesn't come in. No. Oh, hides under the table. Wearing a hat. You didn't. I did. Why? Yeah. Why, Jimmy? <clears throat> Quick, crack away, people! Hey, Jimmy, I need to see you. <laughs> oh, too late, Nicola. The game's up. Jimmy? He was the one who smashed them all. I bet he didn't tell you that. I didn't tell them anything, Nico. <sighs> hey. Hey. Have you changed your mind about the burgers? No. Well, good, because that's the last of them. Oh, so business is booming. Mm-hmm, looks like it. Well, I just came to say sorry about Mum before. We did take your car. No, I gave it to you. Anyway, I best be getting back. Save Suki from her boss. And Mum acting like she knows anything about social media. She good, Suki? That her job, I mean. You guys seemed... Seem what? Just like you get on really well. She's all right. Not just all right. Well, I barely know her. I've not seen much of you recently. Yeah, sorry, I've been busy. I'm, uh, I'm free later, though, if 
you want to hang out? Yeah, okay. Good. I've missed you. See? This is more like us. This is perfect. <laughs> A pot of tea? Yeah. Normality. Domestic bliss. No stupid arguments over nothing kisses. This is all I need. It's easy. Exactly. It's easy and it's comfortable. It's perfect. We're perfect. I love you, Marlon. I love us. And I, I want more of us. Till death do us part more. But, okay, now, I know I didn't get the ring, but I can still do this. Okay? Marlon Dingle, will you marry me? Your Britain's Got Talent live semi-finals continue next tonight here on ITV with your results coming up at 9.30. And what next for Guilty Daniel? It's a dramatic week in Coronation Street continuing tonight at 9.00.